Hello. How are Hello. you? How are you doing? Where are we taking photos at? Uh, stop there for me and turn around. Huh? See you, Jim. You got another one, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Radio guys, we are back in Islington on a beautiful sunny sunny day, um, about 30 degrees I think, uh, no humidity, super nice and it's been a while since I found the sunshine on me so it's just good to get out, you see it's quite active, a few people out and about. Um, today our shooting on the 1DX and um, 7200. Uh, and we're just gonna get some long distance sort of shots sort of see what it again what it's like to be interacting with the long lens out in the street and um kind of just waiting for the moments to come to us and chasing the light that we want to um i guess capture seeing the moments and um waiting for the moments as well so it's a really nice dappled light over there as you can see um, I'm just going to do a quick test exposure. Oh, here we go. Perfect. And we have a lady just casually walking past the grave. Which is kind of nice. Hello. How Hello. are you? How well, are you doing? Where are we taking photos at? Um, I'm just, I'm doing a pub on street photography and using a, a long lens. So yeah. it's just explaining the beautiful dappled light over there. So, right. yeah. It's uh, nice, isn't it? Just uh, we're doing some renovations on there. Oh, I notice. I live. Um, yeah, we come down here almost every single day. Yeah. And it's um yeah it's they've cleared out the gardens and, the, uh, and yeah. I mean obviously the I think there's they're doing up the grave well mm -hmm. it, it is an old graveyard yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh there's kind of grave park even mm -hmm. doing the, the old salmon. Yeah. The not so plague. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's what it, some of these graves well, are from. Well, pretty much, obviously, the church, as far as my recollection, uh -huh. is, well, I look at it and I see it as, as, as like a type of American-style church. Yes. Yeah. Uh, do I detect an Australian accent? Uh, no, I'm a New Zealander, yeah. but I've lived in Australia for 10 right. years. Yeah. Well, mind you, I, I, I probably shouldn't say this, but... <laughs> The accent sounds similar. Yeah. I, it, I, obviously, you probably hear mine. Are you, where are you from? I'm, I'm Irish. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Irish. I'm from Dublin, originally Dublin. Oh, okay. And yeah. That, uh, I mean, now where I live, they kind of they done up some old buildings. Uh huh. Uh, type of, and they actually built uh, like in a car park. They built offices. Okay. It's actually, no, nice building, but for the. Uh, but it came into the car park and they had the gates and they had like the foliage. Oh, okay. And now they kind of get all the seasons mm. in the leaves. Yep. And I know kind of looking. And I'm going, like, stop in this. And I'm like, you know. Yeah. So uh, I just kind of went out of the action. I was just, mm. uh, I, was, I, was going to, I was going to say, be a, re a relative of one of the film directors, Australian no. me, me, <laughs> Oh, no. And me, uh, from the Australian film, oh, film okay. directors. Yeah. And that's, uh, he, uh, he did Dead Poet Society. Oh, I, I actually know that film, yeah. It's and cool. the uh, he was same guy who done done the, um, that kind of picnic, that mm -hmm. was a hanger, it was a hanger, not, uh, kind of where the kids disappeared. Oh, not through the history. The yeah, it was based on a true story, wasn't it? Pardon? Was it based on a true story? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't remember the name of the yeah, film. So, but... so it's sort of a picnic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's and uh, like obviously master and command, mm. the same guy. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. And uh, he, um, well, what was it? Witness, uh -huh. the film witness. Wow. With Harrison Ford. Yeah. Uh, it didn't quite a bit. That's uh, cool. And uh, if, you, if you knew if you knew the director of them, did you? I've I've seen the films, but I haven't looked into the directors. Yeah. But the actual director's name is Peter Weir. Oh, okay. And uh, and uh, my surname is Weir. Oh, there you go. And, and I got as I say, I got family in Australia. Yeah. Type of thing. I think they go. Sometimes they take a little trip over to nice. New Zealand as well. Yeah. And, uh, 
because the they're very are now kind of culturally they're quite different, aren't they? Yeah. And that's uh, I think similarities, but still yeah. yeah well, the, uh, as far as we gather, uh, New, New Zealanders are more pro-British, aren't they? Yeah, they are a bit. Yeah. Uh, and that's you know. Yeah. That's where. Yes. Very much where I'm not progressing. Yeah, oh, there's, I mean, there's variables and within many things, isn't there? And I yeah. Think, you know, there's, uh, yeah, so, uh, I think it's when you kind of live quite close to a kind of an area, like, you know, just mm -hmm. across the Irish Sea, mm -hmm. uh, even though I've got connections with Northern Ireland as well, like, you mm -hmm. know, uh, you know, a mixture of religious differences as well, yeah. like, you know. Yeah, uh, that's true. Um, Can I ask, do you mind if I take your portrait? Me? Yeah. Come oh. on, why not? Well, You've you got a beautiful to... smile. Can I get you standing here for me? Yeah. I'll get you. I'll be able to see it. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> this lens is really close. So I'll have you in the foreground, and then we'll have the church in the background. So, so where, where's these photographs being put out? This will. Um, it's so it's going to go up on YouTube, and it's a street tutorial on um, how to do photographs out in the street right. and have a conversation yeah. with yeah. the. Young gentleman I, 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 like yourself? But I am Roman Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's uh, Church of England. Ah, uh, is it? Yeah, that's yeah. Church of England. Would you prefer if I took a photo of you right here then? No, no, it's nah. fine. It's okay, fine, come yeah. on over. <laughs> Step into your stage. <laughs> right. <laughs> I might end up chatting you up, you know. <laughs> oh, God. Turn around yeah, there. Oh, you said it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, whoops. Stop there for me and turn around. What? There you go. That's what I want. <laughs> Amazing. And wonderful. Yeah. There you go. Once I put it in the computer and warm it up. Right. Can you send me a copy? I can. Um, have you got uh, details on you? Or... Uh, I, I, I haven't actually. What's your email address? I can edit well, it. I don't have a oh, to speed on that. How am I going to uh, get them to you then? Well, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to give you kind of maybe a name and address. A name and an address. Let's see what I can mm. do. What's your name? It's, uh, James Weir. James? Or, or Jim. Jim. Jim will do. Jim, yep. And what's your address? I know uh, a lot of Irish people like that as well. Yeah, indeed. Well, Jim, it was nice to meet you. All Thank right. you for your time, and okay. I'm going to keep going on. All right. You take care. Yeah. Bye. You are? Oh, I'm going to keep talking to the camera. I'm going to keep going. Yeah, all, right. all right. See ya. <laughs> Enjoy it, Jim. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you can see, out on the streets, you meet incredible people yeah, like them. I, I will at some point, yeah. That, you know what that used to be, don't you? Uh, was it the theatre? No. No. Have, have, have a look up to the top of the building. I see the crest up there. Oh, sorry, the post office. Ah, I see. Here you go. It's actually. That's, yeah, it's that's, pretty that's long gone. Yeah, um, it will be for a while, won't it? Yeah. Well, <laughs> the thing is, I guess, uh, from our, I haven't been, but I've been informed uh -huh. that, that they've uh, made a cinema in there. Yeah. Sitting down on settees. Nice. And, uh, and yeah, you've got to make the most of those, don't you? Yeah. Well, they said, they said for kind of light to me, that we kind of reduce prices. <laughs> Yeah, make the most of it. Right. All right, Jim, I better crack on. Take care. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's all good being out in the streets and sort of um, just giving your time to people who, I guess, don't necessarily have many to talk to or just anyone to have a conversation and kind of just give them something to um, enjoy out of the day. So these chairs over here look so oh, hard. Super sick in the um, background. Let's just get it clear. Try and get the guy, the removalist, when he comes out. Sorry, guys. Thank you. Just wait for that moment to come by. That is so good. Eventually. Let's just get the cheers. So, as you can see guys, dark shadows today, nice highlights, and um, it's quite contrasty, which I feel some people 
from conversations I've had over here, struggle to um, shoot with, but there is a lot of um, beautiful light if you're um, able to put it in the way that you want. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is kind of find the shot that I want to shoot and we'll sit and wait and see what and who comes by. So there's some mesh over here, I want to see if that Aladdin effect when I shoot through. So we'll sit and wait here until someone comes through face lit. Yeah. So as you can see, my last upload was a little bit of a different feed. Um, shoots and scene. Sort of um, just uh, trying a different way with video and essentially um, oh there's my friend down there essentially just um, let's get this guy as he comes through may not have been focused but he looks very upset um, trying a new game with it so we in my um, couple previous videos we said that it was going to be a uh, sort of a um, weekly upload but with the um, feedback that we've got and we've taken it on board and really considered it um, as much as we're enjoying doing this we do also need to um, sort of have it in a way that is um, a bit more professional and um, just flows a lot more so as we, you can tell we've got a lot to learn in that game so with that we will be pulling it back to a more of a, um, I'm just trying, waiting for Jim to turn around here, more of a um, weekly, uh, sorry, a monthly, and um, oh, listen, I might just wait for that light. Yeah, so I think doing it monthly will give us a good amount of time to essentially uh, work on our craft and see what we do and don't like and just learn to um, play with the different elements. As you see, Jim is there just sort of chatting to everyone in the neighborhood. It must be quite the local. So I'm looking to change up the 1DX at the moment and go to Mark IV, uh, 5D Mark IV, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I know they're a really good camera, good for film as well. Um, 1DX is obviously pretty old now and um, sort of just isn't handling the uh, low light and um, still having the focusing issues. So I'm going to um, sort of, I'm hiring one this week and we'll be giving it sort of a play. We'll see how we go. Let's get this lady. Um, we'll give it a play as uh, time goes by. Sort of, I do want to test it on a shoot rather than um, many interesting characters here um, so I'm gonna test it on a shoot and in some underground light so just making sure that all basis is covered and it's something I do recommend doing before you um, invest you know thousands of dollars into equipment if you're looking to buy a new body new lens I do recommend uh, actually going ahead and hiring it does cost a little bit more but it's worth it in the long run. Let's get one of them. 
<laughs> See you, Jim. You got another one, didn't you? I did. <laughs> I <was shaking. laughs> See ya. beautiful pocket of light there that I just missed that lady on. It's not really a thoroughfare so I don't think anyone will go through it quickly but that's all right. see now as I've zoomed in the depth of field in the back obviously changes which is um, what blows things out gives it that more sort of um, photography sort of element so here you've got your head around the depth of field plenty of um, tutorials out there that I do recommend um, I just had a thought as I was squatting down there we might just head quickly to the park up the road here get a little bit of a nature feel and um, see what comes about. Oh, the sun is so good. Reflections we get in there. guys if you haven't jumped on to Instagram make sure you follow through there's heaps of um, exciting stories if you don't I trying to pull back on the posting just because I have been posting a lot just because they have so much content but um, <laughs> so the uh, stories have a lot of like the daily that we get up to um, this lady. Obviously, we don't have the um, sign in the background for this, but it kind of gives you a vibe of what you can do if you had given the time. Just do a couple car shots while we're at it. Look at that. Trying to figure out where I want that highlight. Might put it behind the box there. We are on the 7200 here, obviously, so they're going to be more detailed shots. 
Um, but they give it a really nice one. Just looking up for those. the dark over the Porsche badge. We're on 2.8 there, yeah, might just close down. Although now I am on more of a flat plane, so anyway, here's the difference. Um, let's head to the park. Beautiful area. Nice and green, obviously, which is just great to have this sort of nature around sort of make the most of the elements. You can play with some um, leaves up in front of the camera. Which you might do a few. Yeah, so jump on Instagram. You'll see my fitness journey. Um, sort of the, the color sphericks that I'm doing and also some of the craft, um, craft my God, karate stuff, um, which I'm really enjoying as well. Sort of a good element to um, just my fitness which I've always enjoyed so let's see what we get over here and then just close down a little bit so it's only 200 a little bit further than I would like for this but just sitting in a place that will basically give me different angle options rather than getting up and moving around too much so let's see what we're doing here just holding the uh, leaf up in front. Yeah, so Instagram's a good one. Not haven't really decided to jump onto TikTok. It's not really my thing. Um, but you know. It's a bit more blowing than you want. All right, guys. Let me get this sun on me because I'll oh, get some more water down here. Light some of that dofter. There's a patch of light. I'll get him just before he came through. Gonna take another shot of that. I also didn't open up like I should have. So let's do one. We'll open. 
You can kind of see the arch that I was trying to frame him in. I should be able to bring that up in, um, in capture or Lightroom, depending what you decide to use, like to use. They've got some um, presets on sale, guys. So the people that have bought them so far have um, actually given me some incredible feedback. So I am super happy about that. So thank you, guys. Um, and just jumping on board that bandwagon and sort of just being with us and me while I'm um, along this new journey of YouTube and um, also photography, you know, moving from being an assistant in New York and Sydney um, to now sort of transitioning to a photographer, which is um, quite a adjustment, but also um, a needed step for the career that I intend to take. And also just finding the flow within myself and um, sort of taking a few days off to recalibrate and remembering things that I do enjoy, which aren't photography like piano. So I went and bought a piano this week. So keep in tune on Instagram. You'll see me um, practicing all that again. So um, just sort of getting to the point where um, I feel more comfortable being in front of other people and just sort of getting out and about which is something we all struggle with um, especially when you're new to photography or actually you know um, moving up the ranks or doing this and that so if you want to see the fashion shoots that we um, have got planned and are shooting jump on Instagram um, and um, also just um, be patient and enjoy um, the journey of the shoots and scenes so there will be some really cool um, more fashion sort of um, cinematic and um, just bios of some incredible people that we're meeting so um, thanks for joining the journey and we will see you very very soon Tuesdays and Sundays and jump onto my website and get those presets download the free trial it's there for you to use and it's there for you to play with and I know you'll be back because it's good all right see you guys bye <laughs>